What up, YouTube? How we doing, man? It's Tyler, your boy. I'm back at it. Today's August 10th, man, and um, it's a good Monday, man. It's been a great Monday for me, and um, I just want to say, man, big shouts out to everybody out there, man. I hope y'all are going good. I hope this week start off great, and um, if y'all are new here, consider subscribing, man. I do self-help vlogs. I also just started doing a little bit of reactions to um, uh, a couple rap, so... Anyways, let's jump right into it, man. Today's August 10th. Regular prayer and meditation. The, uh, most of us pray when we are hurting. We learn that if we pray regularly, we won't be hurting as often or as intensely. Basic text, page 45. Regular prayer and meditation are two more key elements in our new pattern of living. Our active addiction was more than just um, a bad habit waiting to be broken by force of will. Our addiction was a negative, draining dependence that stole all of our, pers our positive energy. That dependence was so total, it prevented us from developing any kind of reliance on a higher power. From the very beginning of our recovery, our higher power has been the force that has brought us freedom. First, it was revealed us our conclusion to keep taking drugs, even when we knew they were killing us. Then it gave us freedom from more deeply in ingrained aspects of our disease. Our higher power gave us the direction, the strength, and the courage to inventory ourselves. To admit to, out loud to another person that our lives had been like, perhaps, <laughs> for the first time. To begin seeking release from the chronic defects of character underlining our troubles and at last, to make amends for the wrong we've done. That first contact with a higher power and that first freedom has grown into a life of freedom. We maintain that freedom by maintaining and improving our conscious contact with our higher power through regular prayer and meditation. Just for today, I will make a commitment to include regular prayer and meditation in my new pattern of living. I like that a lot, man. Um, I'll just tell you guys a little bit about myself. Um, I meditate every day. I don't pray every day. I, I need to start doing that a little more and definitely making it a thing. Um, but I definitely meditate every day. I actually have an app on my phone. It's called Calm. It cost me like $80 for one year of it. But it's very helpful, man. It, it helps me get outside of myself and meditate because sometimes that's what we need. You know what I mean? And um, it's just, it's possible if you allow it to be possible. You know, when we work in our lives to, 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 to make a change and to better ourselves and to do whatever it takes in order to stay clean, we do whatever it takes. Like, they say the no matter what club. No matter what, I'm not going to use. It doesn't matter what happens to me, who dies, um, any bad shit in my life, it doesn't matter because I over, I, I overpower it, I conquer it. You gotta make sure you got five main reasons that are more important to you than getting high. You know what I mean? Like literally you need five good reasons because desperation sets in, times get rough, you're going through things, things ain't going your way, and you wanna what? You wanna either get high, run to the dope, give up, um, think about suicide, you know what I mean? Some of them things. And, and, and it's not healthy for you and it's not good for your situation because you don't have to be like that no more. You no longer have to be stuck by the grips of addiction. You can allow yourself the time to free yourself. And that's when meditation really comes in and it's key because when you meditate, you calm the mind. You get a better understanding of the world around you. Okay, so when I meditate, my main sort of meditation is grounding. I become grounded to my world around me, to what's going on in my life, and I focus on what's important to me. What's main, like, okay, I set goals, and I, and, and I keep these main goals in my, in my forefront, in my main vision, because without setting goals, how do we make anything possible? How do we make anything worth it? How do we make anything worthy enough of our time, um... You know, like when we quit using drugs, no longer is shit always fun. You know, we're going to get hit with life on life's terms. Uh, turmoil is going to set in, you know, trials and tribulations that we go through. And that's when we pray. You know, you have to have a higher power, something that is loving, caring, and greater than yourself. 
in order to make it out here. Because if you don't, you're running rampant with nothing. Okay? Like, what are you really going to do to help yourself to make you better? To make you better as a whole, as a person, and as a productive member of society. You know, I strive to be great today. I strive to be a different person. I got people that hate on me, talk shit about me, and I still got people that want to fight me. But I don't, I, I don't feed into their negativity and their bullshit. Now, if somebody swings on me, that's a different story. I'm kicking your ass. You hear me? Kicking your ass. You know what I'm saying? But no one's even doing that. You know what I mean? It's all talk. So we got to let that go. And what the hardest thing for me to do is to pray for an enemy. Pray for somebody that does not give no shits about me, hates me, wants to see me fail. I got to pray for that person. Literally. Lord, you know, I, I know I hate this man. And hate's a very strong word. So, hey, you know I dislike this man. But, Lord, let me just pray for him. And I hope that he does better with his life. And, and I wish him nothing but greatness. You know what I mean? And just let it go. It's very hard to do, but it's so freeing when you do it. Because why? I'm sure you're asking why. Because it allows you the process to let go of what isn't important in your life. Is that person really important? Is that person worth you wasting your time on when you could be focusing on making yourself great? Like, why even stop and hold your process up because some dumbass wants to talk shit about you? Let that shit go. It's not worth it. I try to pray not only when I'm in trouble. I used to be a big county jail prayer. I go to jail, Lord, please let me out. I'll quit. I'm done. I swear to you. I, I, <laughs> let me out and I'll never come back again. And it's bullshit. Because you know you're going to get out and do the same shit you was doing before. You know, you want to pray and thank God for what he's done for you. Thank him for the blessings you have received through him. You know what I mean? Because he didn't have to give you those things. Look at how I'm doing that. I mean, this right here behind me is my website. This is my clothing website. I sell clothes. I got a shipment coming in in about two weeks, and I can't wait for it to hit. If y'all need to check it out, man, I'll have the merch. It'll be coming out soon, and I'll have a place for y'all to click. Y'all can check out my website. It's www.we'renotsodifferentbrand.com. It'll be in there. I have Gently Used. Um, women and Men will be coming soon. It's not in there yet, but it will be coming. But anyways, back to what I was saying. This stuff would not be possible if it wasn't for my higher power. If it wasn't for me believing in myself and knowing I could do something different with my life and I could be better. Because y'all can do it. You keep selling yourself short for what reason? I'm asking you. Why? Like, you're your own worst enemy. You're your own worst critic. You want to know how I know? Because I'm mine. And it's bad, you know, but it happens. Listen, I'm telling you right now. Stop what you're doing. Hit your knees and say a prayer. And thank him for everything he's done for you. And if you don't believe in God, pray to whoever you believe in. I'm not here to judge. You know, I used to not believe. I get it. You know, I finally believed because I picked up and, and, I, and I just... There's got to be something out there greater than me, man, that's making this stuff possible. I mean, yeah, I'm putting in the footwork and I'm striving to be great, but there's got to be something bigger than me, you know? But man... <laughs> Like, this shit I could go about all day, man. But listen, if you don't like to pray, get into meditation, man. Try to meditate daily, okay? Just if you got to throw something on your phone. I know all y'all got a phone. If you got a phone, get on your phone. Type in uh, guided meditations. Check them out, man. There's a lot of good ones on YouTube. Just just check it out and try it. See how you feel afterwards. That, 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 that sense of this, like, relief. Have you ever tried deep breathing? That's another good one. But anyways, man, I love you guys, man. I appreciate all the love and support. Thanks for all the subs. We hit over 100. I think we hit 150 today, man. Yes. Like, big things, man. We're actually coming along. And I have good faith that this is helping people. And that's what it's all about, man. I also got my funny sides, too. And I'll be coming out with some uh, GoPro footage. Me riding my four-wheeler. Me going creek in. Um, me hitting rope swings. Uh, jumping off of shit in the pool, like just all kinds of crazy stuff, man. I, it goes on the water and shit, so yeah. That'll be coming soon, man. Just keep checking me out. I'm going to be dropping these videos. I finally made a commitment to myself to come up with two for y'all. Coming out with two uh, self-help vlogs a week. Monday and Friday will be the days for those. And then all week long, I'll be doing reactions. So check it out, man. I appreciate you guys. 
Thanks for all the love and support. And like I say at the end of all my videos, man, don't cheat yourself, treat yourself. And remember, we're not so different. And if y'all ain't subscribed yet, check it out. It'll be right here, subscribe button, and then over here you already know we'll have the self-help vlogs and the video for the best or the best video for the viewer. I love you guys, man. Don't cheat yourself, treat yourself. Peace. Yeah.